New from the ABC 15 investigators, a federal utility provider says they'd be willing to sell the San Carlos irrigation project. But the big question will be, will anyone be interested in taking it over? Following your concerns for weeks, we've covered repeated power outages in the central parts of our state that have left so many of you wanting something to be done. The equipment needs to be upgraded badly. We have nothing but wood poles. And when there's a bad storm, they blow over and they break. ABC 15 investigator Nicole Griggs spent days hearing your calls for action and she's back with an update. In the last 30 days, we've lost power six times. This is Chief Stephen kind of Kerber with Regional Fire and Rescue, a fire agency funded by homeowners who are subscribers. We're not contracted with the county. We're standalone. We're not tax funded. And we only get 20% of the homeowners that actually support us in the 70 square miles that we cover between Coolidge, Eloy, and Casa Grande. And like so many families dealing with repeated power outages, they are also customers of the San Carlos Irrigation Project, SKIP for short. A federal utility provider who provides power to 13,000 people across central Arizona. So these are like critical services that you need to have. Correct. We even went and bought two specific 100-foot extension cords to run from the generator, which is our light tower out in the back uh, side of the office, to run into the office and plug in the internet and plug in the vital radios, not run lights or computers or anything else, just to run the radio and run the internet. Chief Kerber says they're not funded by taxpayers, so they don't have the extra money to just go purchase the needed generators and equipment for any time the power goes out. A lot of our funding goes to fund the full-time firefighters and pay payroll, cover our overhead expenses. When it comes to repeated outages, Skip attributes those to weather, car accidents, and the need for a more resilient infrastructure. We have asked Skip a lot of questions, including if they would be ready to transfer ownership to other utility providers. They say that Indian Affairs is consulting with the tribes regarding the divestiture of Skip power systems for tribal customers. And they will also engage private and public electric utility providers here in Arizona for those who do not live on tribal land. Skip saying this is potentially a major economic development opportunity, adding that transferring ownership to the tribes, other stakeholders, or private utilities might also lead to greater efficiency and cost savings for customers. As for regional fire and rescue, it's not just the outages impacting them, but the price that they pay too. Like when we started 30 years ago, they used to say, oh, well, you're on Skip BIA, you're going to have cheap power. Well, it's not cheap today. What does it cost you? It's costing us $2,100 a month during the summer months and $1,300 a month usually during the winter when we're not using AC. So what would it take for this to happen? We're told this will likely require federal legislation, and it's something we're asking your lawmakers. Reporting in Casa Grande, I'm investigator Nicole Grigg, ABC 15, Arizona. Nicole, thank you. Two weeks ago, Senator Mark Kelly renewed his request to the Bureau of Indian Affairs, asking for more details about their divestment plan and for more information on the work being done with tribes and stakeholders. We'll continue to follow up on what this plan would look like.